legitimize the uh, the election of Donald Trump. Legitimize the uh, the election of Donald Trump in trying to plant seeds of doubt in people's mind that maybe, just maybe. Give me one or two things that you'll remember about this NFL season. At AWOL Radio, it's After Hours with Amy Lawrence. Happy New Year from CBS Sports Radio. A hearty breakfast that gets you out of bed. For a better life, sponsoring traffic here on KCBS. Ted, where are we starting? Well, it's going to stay. We'll head back out to Fairfield. That, that's the important one we have right now this accident. Unfortunately, the right lanes remain shut down. Just the two left lanes open after we had this overturned vehicle westbound 80 before the Jamison Canyon Road turnoff. No word when to finally have all of this. Your milk with a smile. Oh, I should have gone to acting school. You can do it. I'll be right there with you. they vote? Like Todd said, they vote with their pocketbook. And if they're, they're working two and three and four jobs part-time when they used to have one good full-time job, I don't think they're not going to think about that when they uh, punch that chat or pull that lever. That's how they vote. That's I have a question for you. A husband and I are uh, early 60s, planning to retire in about two to three years. And we, um, actually, I have been managing our own portfolio for many years um, and have a, an SFL case. Mine, Karen, is that movie Forrest Gump. You've seen that movie Forrest Gump, right? Mm. So the boy has physical disabilities, right. and he's we just advocated for him, and, and you can do what you, yeah, what, what's as stupid as a stupid does. That's right. So it's not, it's up to you. You decide what to do. And Other love, people don't. And I love what Daniel said that, that, um, Pennzoil Synthetics taking synthetic motor oil performance to a whole new level. Make the switch to Pennzoil Synthetics today. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. I'm Jay Reynolds. We just might see college basketball history again this month from the University of Connecticut, the top ranked women's. <laughs> There's so many difficulties in the U.S. that I think the company is now well positioned for growth towards the end of the decade. We check your money at 20 and 50 after each hour. I'm Bloomberg's Elisa Parenti for KNX 1070 News Radio. It's 1121. There's a security problem at L.A. City Hall. It's according to several members of the city council and LAPD officers who advise them on securing the city's original public space. After several incidents, including vague threats made towards members of the council and the people kicked out of the chamber who had knives on them, a new effort is getting underway to secure City Hall. Mitch Englander is a councilman leading the effort, and he tells KNX his concerns extend beyond members of the council. The fact that there have been not only security breaches, but this is a people's building. It's not just about our safety. Houston goal of Pittsburgh's two. In overtime, that turned into a field goal, so that did not win the game in overtime. Pittsburgh with a 75-yard touchdown drive on the ensuing possession. That did win the game. Steelers 
A 27-24 overtime win over the Browns. This Caesar's need closeness in order to feel okay. And I'm okay if you think I'm okay, so I'm very other dependent on you to make me feel okay. If you're smiling, then I can smile inside. So that's what I grew up with. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Drew Steele filling in for Doug Wright today on KSL News Radio. Love to hear from you, 57500. There's the text line. If you'd like to call, of course, please. like I saw in 2016. And, and I think for me, one of the things is when election day came,
So here at ITV News, uh, uh, just gone half past four in the morning, we are calling it for leave to win uh, this referendum. An extraordinary moment in British history, uh, a referendum that David Cameron didn't need to call, that he was certain to win as it wore on the campaign. He got more and more worried that that was not a given and the warnings uh, became uh, ever more apocalyptic about uh, just how dangerous and difficult uh, it was for us uh, if we left. We have, as a nation, ignored him. So at 4.25 in the morning, 4.35 even, uh, can't read a watch, uh, can't do many things at this time in the morning, uh, but at 4.35, uh, we at ITV News are calling this uh, as a leave victory, an extraordinary moment in British history. Uh, let's just take a moment. We looked at the White Cliffs of Dover just now. Let's just take a moment as we look at the clock uh, to ponder what has been a long and tumultuous night and to consider uh, what may lie ahead. Um, we've seen Joel Hill's uh, giving us the reaction of the markets. Uh, not exactly uh, an attractive picture you may have heard. Um, Theo just talking uh, now uh, a moment ago about how that's largely to be expected. The point I'm trying to make is how oftentimes the media we rely on gets it wrong. They don't understand how many of the people that are living in their nation... developing across parts of the upper Midwest, including Minneapolis, where your high temperature is 31 degrees. Thunderstorms are possible in the United States. And it will remain right I think that right here, this defense, and that force like Ladarius Gunter, that force Michael Hyde. I mean, if you watch the game tonight, now Michael Hyde tends to go out and play corner. He gets a huge interception. The reason why he got that huge interception in the game is because he had to play some corner when you lost your two, your two starting quarterbacks. So I think at the end now, some of the things that